Hey guys, it's Rosie or Topic of Bricks here with another video. So I've said a couple times in the past that the LEGO Harry Potter theme is a fantastic theme to invest in, especially in comparison to other LEGO themes. I've actually got a spreadsheet document where I track the price growth of all the LEGO Harry Potter sets and minifigures, and virtually all of them are in the green. However, there are a small handful of sets that don't quite seem to meet any sort of demand on the aftermarket and thus don't rise in price, and in some cases they even go down in price. This may be due to the sets not being rare or not having any desirable figures or whatever. There's usually multiple reasons why a set may not be performing well on the aftermarket. And today I'm going to be going over LEGO Harry Potter sets that are currently for sale at retail stores which I don't see going up in value much or even at all. So let's dive into 5 LEGO Harry Potter sets you should not invest in. So at number 5 and 4 we have a 2 in 1. Those two sets being the Potions and the Herbology Class Hogwarts Moments books, which came out in January of 2021. These two sets were accompanied by two others called the Transfiguration and the Charms Class. The reason I'm picking out two of these four sets specifically not to invest in is because the Potions and the Herbology Class sets don't come with any real desirable minifigures. The Snape that we get in the Potions Class set isn't too much different to the ones we have gotten previously before. Also the Professor Sprout figure from the Herbology Class set isn't too much different from the one we got in the Astronomy Tower set in 2020. However, when it comes to the Transfiguration and Charms class sets, both of these come with extremely desirable figures each. In the Transfiguration class we get a unique McGonagall figure with amazing printing on her robes, and in many people's minds this minifigure is one of the most detailed and most accurate in the LEGO Harry Potter theme. With the Charm set too, we get a unique Professor Flitwick figure, who is the only Flitwick figure ever made to represent the look he had in the Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. All the other versions of Flitwick we have gotten have been representations of the older variants, so this is why some of these Hogwarts Moments books are probably bad to invest in, while others are probably a wise decision. It's all about the minifigures with these sets. If you're enjoying this video, then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to never miss an upload. So at number 3 we have the 2021 LEGO Harry Potter Advent Calendar. So the reason the Advent Calendar is on this list is due to the aftermarket value of the 2020 version. You can pick up the sealed 2020 LEGO Harry Potter Advent Calendar for around $20 sealed on Bricklink, when it retailed for $40 back in the day, and I'm scared that the 2021 version will do the same. On paper it looks like a good investment due to unique minifigures, but the truth is that the minifigures don't make up $40 alone, and people don't really care about the builds. They only care about the odd unique printed pieces thrown in them, but even those will only fetch you around a dollar on the aftermarket. So I don't feel confident that there's really any profit to be made from these LEGO Harry Potter advent calendar sets. At number 2 we have the Harry, Ron, Hermione and Hagrid Brickhead. Now LEGO Harry Potter Brickheads in the past have risen up in price an extraordinary amount. For example the 2018 Brickhead sets have actually already risen about 300-400% to on sites such as eBay and Bricklink, so it will be quite a diversion from the trend for this Harry, Ron, Hermione and Hagrid Brickhead to not make you much money at all. But I don't think that is going to be the case. The reason why is because none of these Brickheads in this Brickhead pack are unique. We have gotten all four of these characters in Brickhead form before, so there's no real reason why anyone would want this Brickhead pack in particular, especially considering these Brickheads are just mini versions of the full size ones, so they can quite easily look out of place in someone's LEGO Harry Potter Brickhead collection. So personally, I don't think this set will fetch too much money after it retires on the aftermarket. And finally, at number one, we have what I think is the absolute worst LEGO Harry Potter set to invest in at retail price, and that's the LEGO Harry Potter Mosaic Art set. So these sets retail for $130, and even though they come with 4,249 pieces, the vast majority of those are just studs, which have an extremely low resale value. I do think there's still opportunity to make money on these sets, considering you can get these sets on sale for below $90 in regular stores, but I think you'll need to part out all these pieces on a Bricklink store to really actually make a decent return and selling off all those studs alone could take years so it's definitely not the sort of investment that I would recommend. If you would like to see the investment guide video made on the LEGO Harry Potter Diagon Alley set then make sure to click the video on screen now. By the way guys I now have a discord server, I've left the invite link in the description down below if you want to join and say hello. I've been Rosie or Topic Bricks, I'll catch you next time.